Good day. Welcome to NX University. Today's topic, Assembly Clearance Analysis. My name is Craig Robillard. And I'm an Application Engineer at Swoosh Technologies. For our example today, we have a race car. And we're setting a little context of you're in charge of the prototype and you've been asked, will all the parts fit together before you order them? So we'll first present what we're going to uh, work our way through and then we'll play a short video where you can see the actual picks and the analyses live. So setting the stage, here is our prototype. We have a lot of groups working together. You can see pulling together the race car and it is in the early stages of development. Of course we're on a tight schedule and we are asking how do we work our way through and make sure that it all fits together. Our answer, NX Assembly Clearance Analysis, available under the menu analysis assembly clearance. We can check selected components of an assembly such as in a sub in a sub-assembly or we can take whole blocks in the case we'll go through the engine to some of the body panels. When the analysis runs it will report back a series of values the touching interference like part on top one on top of another as you'd expect a hard interference which we're looking for objects are going through each other or we can set a particular clearance zone uh, where we want to say keep a quarter inch spacing and the system would report I'm at 0.2 instead of 0.25 a soft interference still we want to look at these so the first analysis that the video will show is we're going to look at just something simple we'll open the cockpit and what is referred to as clearance set one this is our analysis and we will make a collection of parts a single collection and examine just this small grouping which is what we see here our clearance set name on the left side Compare clearances between components, not sub-assemblies. We've got one collection of parts, as we can see in our clearance browser summary. So when we pick around and sample our, our parts, the analysis runs fairly quickly, and you see along the top, cradle to gear shift, dash to steering wheel, are our two are two areas of interest. Now we've, we're only looking at 40 some thousandths but it's still enough where in the steering wheel to the dash um, this could be the press fit for the steering wheel on its mate but the cradle to the gear shift um, is not something we expected so we let our system do some of our work for us. Illustrating how this works, once we have the first pass, we can right-click on our choice, ask to study the interference, and the system blanks out all parts except the two in question and shows us the area of interest. When we do our next grouping, we're going to start looking at subsystems to subsystems. So collection one will be the engine, and collection two will pick around the screen. So we'll go engine to bodywork, engine to floor, and so on. In the first pass, along the top of the screen, we've selected the engine for our collection one. For collection two, just the upper cowl, you can see in the red highlight and no interferences have been found. In the second pass, we take our engine and we look at the floor. So when we look at the top, we'll look at the bottom. Two hard interferences, almost three quarters of an inch are reported. Now if we want to go in and take a better look at anything, we can edit the clearance set, add in or subtract out 
more components. But let's let's now watch this in action. This is a six minute video that summarizes what we've just presented. Here we're going to choose our cockpit. We're going to open it in window. We'll come up to our analysis tab. Ask for assembly clearance and we'll make a new set of information to, to examine. We'll use the lightweight geometry to speed things up. And we get our first pass. We'll move our browser window around so we can see it a little clearly. We'll study the interference, and what we see is, okay, we have a approximately 50 thousandths interference. So to do a little check, we'll create interference geometry, hide our part, and what we see is, okay, the hole, the clearance hole, we need to make it a little bit bigger in the rear pan, in the rear seat pan. Examining the dash to the steering wheel as we look around is a little harder to see, but we have our suspicions, so we create interference geometry here, and we confirm this is our light press fit of the steering wheel post into its mate, in, into the dash and steering mechanism. Moving around to our next, we'll go back to the main car, and we can look at each sub-assembly in turn. So we'll let's try the front suspension, and we'll look at just the, in this case, the left side of the car, and run another check. <clears throat> now we're only looking at one area, so we only have one collection of parts. And we see that we have some hard, we have some touching. So let's look at the bigger ones first. And we see, okay, where the tie rod is through the bolt clearance, what's going on here? Creating the interference geometry as we keep going through, this just simplifies what we're looking at. And what we see is in process, while we've added in the tie rods, we need, still need to add in the appropriate clearance holes for the bolts. So that hard, large interference is easily corrected. Now visually, looking here, we've got some parts on the lower A-arm that are crossing, so we'll have to take a better look at here, and we're saying, oh, okay, we need some interface to work out. We'll get the uh, suspension engineer and the wheel engineer. They're going to have to start talking to each other, work it out. You can't fix a problem until you know what it is. Now let's take a broader look at the project. We'll go from one to two collections. So here we're going to look subsystem to subsystem or subsystem and its surrounding interfaces. For our first pick, we'll take the whole engine right off the assembly navigator and then we'll individually select components around it. Our first trial works out well. No interference is found. Next, we've looked at the top. Let's look at the bottom. We'll do two collections again. Again, we'll compare the engine to the floor.
And here we've got some larger interferences, almost three quarters of an inch, and some smaller ones, about eight thousandths of an inch. So let's look at those. And what we see here is okay, we have interfacing groups. We require a clearance notch for the, the, the lower mounts for the spoiler. That one has pretty good direction. Here, as we're looking at the oil reserve, against the floor, we see a slight touch. Now, where is it? And the system is flagging. It's right where we do the height interface change. So to make it easier, we'll do a interference check. And what we see is that nice, sharp, rounded corner against where the transition happens is just touching. So rounding some corners on both sides, working our way through the interfaces, we can design in a little clearance. Notice this is a prototype. We're still early in the phase. So it is best to find and fix any of these issues early. This is our quick tour around a simple analysis. Thank you.